Movie star Jennifer Lawrence apologizing tonight for her actions while filming a movie here in Hawaii. While on a talk show, she joked about sitting on sacred rocks while filming the Hunger Games series. Now, those comments sparked a lot of backlash on social media, and Lawrence issued an apology saying, I meant absolutely no disrespect to the Hawaiian people. Now, this isn't the first time a movie filmed in Hawaii has been criticized for lacking cultural sensitivity. Elisa Revelo goes beyond the headlines tonight to find out what's being done to educate people in that industry. Elisa. Howard and Marissa, I spoke with the Hawaii State Film Office, which tells me it's working on a cultural handbook to give, produ to, give to production companies before filming. State Film Commissioner Donnie Dawson tells me production companies are given guidelines for filming in sensitive locations, but the office is expanding on that with a handbook. We don't want this to come off as our preaching to them, but, but just educating them so that they can understand, you know, more about our history, more about our culture. The nonprofit Pacific Islanders in Communications is helping to create the handbook. This book will offer them not only um, rules or protocol to follow, but also it would steer them into the direction of where they would need to go to find out um, answers to different questions. I wanted to know, is someone on set to monitor filming in culturally sensitive areas? It's not always possible for them to get uh, uh, cultural uh, consultants on set with them, um, but we do strongly encourage them to do so. I also asked, why is filming in sacred areas allowed? The Hawaii State Film Office says they do not issue permits for filming in certain sacred areas, such as known burial sites. I'm told the area where Lawrence was filming was not under state jurisdiction. This isn't the first time a movie with ties to Hawaii has sparked controversy. People voiced anger about the portrayal of Polynesians in Disney's latest animated film, Moana. And the 2015 film, Aloha, drew criticism after actress Emma Stone was cast as a part Chinese Hawaiian character. I'm told the goal of the Hawaiian handbook is to avoid future incidents like this. We want to take away the excuse that people are ignorant of our customs and culture or that they didn't know any better. The Waimea Valley Executive Director issued a statement saying we are offended by her actions. Although it has been some years since this desecration occurred, we were made aware of it at the time and they say the incident was addressed. Pacific Islanders and Communications tells me the handbook should be ready by 2018. However, since this incident came up again, I'm told they'd like to get it done as soon as possible. Elisa Arevalo, KHON2 News.